Welcome to DrawCut Lite. I'm just going to give you a quick introduction of what you can do with this terrific software. Along the top row of tools here are our main menus. All the program's tools and features can be found here. In the first row of tools, we have our static tools, which includes Open, Save, Print and Cut. In the second row of tools, these are dynamic. These change depend on what I'm doing. If I click off this selected object, you can see the second row of tools changes and it gives me options such as my page sizes. DrawCut Lite comes with lots of page sizes, as you can see here, and you can apply these to any of the pages within your document. You can also change major settings like your units that you work with. Here we'll work in metric. And just click OK, and it applies it to the program. Over here on our left side, we have all our major creation tools, as you can see. And when I click on this drop down here, I can click on production mode and this exposes more production tools. Along the right hand side here, I have the design center. At this time, we're looking at the object manager and the property inspector. This is a very powerful section of the software. If I click on this button on the right here, I can expose more of my color tools, including color palettes and spot colors. I'll come back to these later. And when I don't need these anymore, I can hide them away like this and I can also hide away the design center. Down along the bottom row here, or on the heads up display, we have these tools where I can turn the page on and off, the grid on and off, and I can go back to those settings we were looking at earlier. So that's the general layout of the software and where the major tools and features are. Another major feature is the page thumbnail viewer. So if I come here and click on this button here, you can see I get a thumbnail view of all my recent documents. And when I click on one of these, it opens it up. Directly above the documents, you can see the document tabs. These let you navigate between your documents in the designing area. Here we have some of the text tools in DrawCut Lite, which ha there are plenty of these. You can simply type text directly onto the screen like so. And then you can go into object mode and you can manipulate the text. You can move it around, you can rotate it, then you, could, uh, you can skew the text change its colour for example, position it, um, and then you can change the font itself by using this terrific font previewer, and you can see a thumbnail preview of all your fonts like so, select the font you're interested in, and automatically applies it to the text like so. DrawCut Lite works with all the standard text uh, styles including bold and italic and bold and italic. You can do justification here, align to left, centre and right and you can also work in vertical text mode and you can just simply type in vertical text it's very very easy using draw cut light there's a range of other text tools of course here in the design center where we've got things like superscript and subscript small caps and all caps along with a lot of other different types of tools that we can use including tracking and justification and when I'm done with those tools I can just put them away like so I can also edit my text using the Note Edit tool. This allows me to adjust, say, the kerning of text. So for example here, where there's some uh, unsightly gaps between letters here, I can actually adjust these on the baseline using the Note Edit tool as I'm showing you here. I can adjust the line spacing, and I can even adjust the line spacing on individual lines. And of course I can justify and maybe make this bold. Another powerful feature of DrawCut Lite is Reverse Fill. This now open within the arrow here is white, but by making it the same colour as the arrow, I can then use the Reverse Fill to make sure that when I go send this to the cutter, the cutter sees it as the same colour. I'll show you what I mean. When I send it to this module here, you can see that the text is the same colour as the arrow, even though I can see it in the designing area. Reverse fill is a great feature of DrawCut Lite. DrawCut Lite also includes some powerful curve tools and note edit tools. As you can see here in note edit mode, I have these on-screen controllers, which gives me great control over my curve shapes that I can edit and manipulate on the screen, so I can get the right shape that I'm looking for. I can also create curves like a freehand curve like this. This is all very easy to do using DrawCut Lite. I can also make a poly curve the good thing about these curves is that you can come back and edit them as you're creating them, as I'm showing you here. All in all, the curves in DrawCut Lite are terrific. Another thing I can do is insert a page, 
and I can also import images. So you can load images into DrawCut and use these if you require them, like so. Another feature of DrawCut Lite are power shapes. The software comes with a square and a circle power shape. Power shapes have special onboard controllers using the node tool and the object selector that allow you to manipulate the shape. For example, I can change the border and I can change the negative mitre here. I can change the circle like so and its border. And these tools help you design shapes so that you can create good artwork using the software. As mentioned earlier, the Design Center in DrawCut Lite provides you with some powerful tools and options. Here in the Object Manager you can see all my shapes that are in the actual document. Here I've got the Property Inspector which allows me to adjust all the properties of the selected shapes. I can also filter out and just look at the current page like so. The other thing I can do here is set the Align and Spacing tools. And as you can see it shows me a live preview before I actually commit to whatever I'm trying to do. I've got some spacing tools here which are very uh, useful and I've got some distribute tools as well. All these allow me to lay out my artwork. Another powerful tool is the page thumbnail viewer which shows me a thumbnail of all my pages. When I select on a page I can use the visual object selector to see the individual objects on the page which is very very useful for complex artwork and selecting that artwork. DrawCut Lite also comes with guides and dimensions tools as you can see here in this page. I can select my guides and I can apply guides to any of the objects that I have in the designing area, like so. I've got dimensions including dynamic dimensions which follow the object itself. I've got control over the grid where I can change the way the grid looks and turn it on and off and also snap to the grid. And I've got these tools here which allow me to adjust the way my dimensions actually look on the screen, as you can see. These are all very helpful for laying out my artwork. Working with colour is also very easy in Draw Cut Light. I can apply colours to different objects using the colour pipette tool here, like so. Which is a very easy way of doing it. I can pop out the colour tools here and go to my colour charts. Here I have thousands of vinyl colours from many, many different manufacturers and I can change my default colour palette by simply selecting it from here. I can even edit the colours in the colour charts. And as you can see, the colour chart appears in the main toolbar here. And I can just put those away when I'm finished with them. Another area of Draw Cut Light is its great contour cutting features. Here I can create a contour cut line by simply adding a contour cut line and editing the offset. And as you can see, it applies it to these shapes. I can then send that to the uh, contour cut wizard, which gives me a great deal of control over my contour cutting. I can view the print or the cut only parts of the job. I can also save it as a PDF and have that printed on a large format printer or a desktop printer and then load it back into my cutter and then cut it out with great accuracy. So contour cutting in Draw Cut Lite is very easy. And if I want to use another program to do all my designing, for in this case, let's say I'm using Corel Draw here and I've got to cut all these shapes out, I can actually create a template. So I don't have to use Draw Cut Lite for all my design work. I can simply create a template of the correct size, save that off, and then all I do is I load that back, the template that's created, I just load that back into my designing program, no matter what it is, whether it's Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator or any graphics program. I load my template in, I simply separate out my contour cut line with the template, and then I just simply load that back into Draw Cut Lite, bring up the contour cut wizard and select that template and it will automatically apply that and allow me to cut that out. So I can work with contour cutting in other software, bring it into Draw Cut Lite and easily cut that out. And when it comes to vinyl cutting, Draw Cut Lite gives you some great tools and options. Here in this module, I'm presented with some tools and features to allow me to easily handle all my cutting. I can separate by color and as you can see here, the now open sign is remembered and I can see each individual piece of artwork in its separate colour file. I can apply special weeding tools like Speedweed Text to greatly simplify my weeding. And when I'm ready, I can spool all my cut files and send them to the Vinyl Spooler, which is a specialist cut file management utility, to send all these files directly to my vinyl cutter. I simply click Cut Now and my cutter will start cutting this work out for me. So when you consider how easy Draw Cut Lite is to use, all its powerful tools and features, it represents excellent value for money 
for designing signs and cutting them out and doing contour cutting with your vinyl cutter. Thanks for watching.